Hi, Clint Kuhn's here with Anderson Business Advisors. And in this video, we are going to discuss how to partner on real estate with your self-directed Roth IRA. Okay, let's get started. All right, now you know that I am a strong proponent of using qualified retirement plans. And in many of my videos, I talk about the drawbacks of IRAs. But the fact of the matter is, is that if you have Roth IRAs, now well, you're gonna stay in that position. That is, we can't roll a Roth into a qualified retirement plan. Roth IRAs have to stay as Roth IRAs. And if you watch my other video on how to build your $1 million Roth IRA, well, you're gonna have one anyways if you're gonna follow that approach uh, to saving for your retirement and to invest with. And so what I thought I'd do is cut a video on how you can leverage down this, these assets, how you can put them together to actually do more. Because a lot of people have confusion as to how they can use their funds to take real estate down. They got a little bit of money in this IRA, their spouse has some money over here, and they have some money over here. And independently, they have some funds, but they really can't do that many deals by themselves. But if they could put it all together, they could do a lot more. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how that's done. So let's assume that uh, you have your IRA. We have an individual here. This is a Roth, self-directed. This is a husband's IRA. The inside of it is 150K. This is the spouse's uh, Roth IRA down here, and it has 100K in it. And together, each of them have $100,000 in their savings account. And so they want to invest in real estate. So let's assume that we find a house for $200,000 that we want to buy. Well, as you can see, we don't have enough money independently to take that acquisition down if we're going to buy it for 200K. 150 here won't get there, 100 here won't get there, 100 here won't get there. So what could you do? Well, you could do this. If you don't want to pay tax on any of the income, you could set up a limited liability company right here, an LLC, put in 100K from that IRA, 100K from this IRA, you got your 200K, there you go. 50-50 ownership here, okay? Because each of us put in $100,000, so we'd split that LLC up 50-50 between these two IRAs. Now, if you're making uh, $10,000 a year in income from that property, it would be tax-free to this IRA and to this IRA, because we'd split it 50-50. Now, something I have to note here, setting these structures up, what I'm gonna be talking about, this is not for you. Don't jump on legal Zoom, I mean Doom, and try to create these structures, because if you do, you'll be engaging in a prohibitive transaction because you're a disqualified party, and it will blow your iris, and you don't want to risk doing that. So always use a qualified professional who understands how these tools can work to help you achieve your type of investing goals. Now, that's one way to do it, if I just wanted to keep it that way. Maybe I don't, maybe I want to split it with myself. Another way you could structure this deal is, forget about this IRA, you guys could come in 50-50 over here. I put in 100, this IRA puts in 100, we buy the property, now 50% is taxable to us, 50% is non-taxable to my spouse's IRA. So there's lots of ways to do it. You could do a three-way here on top of this. So. Although you can partner here on this, the problem you run into in structuring it this way, and I see a lot of people make this mistake in my opinion, is that they don't realize they can do more, they can buy more properties. Because right now, co collectively, we have $350,000. And if we bought this property for 200, that means my next property has got to be under 150. So maybe you get two properties. Great, you're gonna create a little bit of cash flow for yourself. You know, I think there's a better way to do this, and that is to use Leverage, why not leverage them down? Yeah, you can actually borrow as long as it's non-recourse. There are lenders out there that will engage in these types of loans. That means you don't have to sign personally. It's an asset-based loan. You can leverage with your accounts. Just think what you can do. So let's say you find properties that are $100,000 that you want to invest in. If you were buying $100,000 properties and you're going all in for cash, right now I have enough here to buy three homes. So you can get three properties. Well, and actually what you do have is you have enough money here to do 10 properties. Yep, $350,000 will buy you 10 $100,000 homes if you're using leverage with your accounts. Now, again, it's a non-recourse note. Now, typically these lenders will want 30 to 35% down in order to do it. That's why I said 10 properties. And it's, it's quite simple. The way the strategy, what you're going to do here is 
It starts with creating your LLCs. So we would create multiple LLCs, right? For the properties. I'm not gonna do more than this. So what we'll create here. And we buy each of these properties like so. And into them, we will put $35,000. Now, how do you come up with that money? Is it partner here and here, or here and here, or here, here, here? It doesn't matter. You just gotta make sure the membership interest that you issue back match the contributions. I'm gonna make it real simple. Between these deals right here, we're just gonna go in one third a piece on most of them. We're gonna have a little bit of money left over, so this will own one deal all by itself. But if we did one third each, then each entity here would have to put in uh, 11,000, $350, let's say, or whatever that comes up to be. So they would put in 11,000, 11,000, 11,000. So we'd get our $35,000 inside of there. Actually, it'd be 11,500. We get our $35,000 inside of there and we buy a house. We do the same thing, same thing, and you do this out 10 times. Now you have 10 properties you own with your same amount of assets. So rather than holding three, you've leveraged down, now you're able to obtain 10. And then as you pay those uh, mortgages down over time, the income is going to increase from the sale from, from those properties. And of course, the income gets split based upon our uh, ownership in the respective LLCs. Now, the only problem you have, though, with using leverage inside of an IRA is you have what is referred to as UDFI, or Unrelated Debt Financed Income. And in layman's terms, it means this. If you use any type of leverage to make an investment and you have a qualified plan or an IRA here, then the amount of the leverage you use would need to be multiplied by the income the, the investment makes and you'll pay tax on that. So in this particular case, if we were using 70% leverage and we made $10,000 a year um, for this IRA right here, then $7,000 of that income is going to be taxable. That's assuming this is making 10 grand. So you just do 70% times 10, 7,000 is taxable. Now you still get to take your depreciation against it. So on smaller homes like this, where they're only a hundred thousand dollars, it's probably not going to be a big deal for you from a tax perspective. And so I wouldn't worry about that too much. But if you're looking at larger deals and you're not dealing with Roth IRAs, this is one of the reasons why in my other videos I talk about using a qualified retirement plan because qualified retirement plans are not subject to UDFI. So if you're gonna invest in the syndication, then you wanna use a qualified retirement plan if you're not using Roth money to make that investment because most syndications are leveraged at 70%. When they sell, they have a liquidity event, that can create a tax hit for your IRA. So on this type of investing, what I'm showing you is that you can partner with yourself, you can partner with your IRAs, but more importantly, you can also leverage that down. So you're able to grow your portfolio much quicker. You know, this is just one of the strategies we teach at our three-day tax and asset protection event for real estate investors. It's all over the country. Be sure you check out our website uh, for the next location. And if you have some time, you can register for it there. Otherwise, be careful with your investing. Make sure you're using a professional to set this up. And I wish you the very best.